And we're back with a new part because last part was nearing like an hour or so. I lost track of time, I could say. And in these parts, Tom's money. Captain Avery. Hey, look, there's the other half of his face. You've certainly seen better days. Yeah. What's this? Oh my God. Old manifest. What's manifest treasure? of the good ship Destiny? Wait. Of the good ship Destiny bound for Libertalia from the port of Kings Bay. Ten thousand coins, silver mug, huh? Eh, it's weird. And thirty-two, no, thirty-three, ninety-three T pounds. And we got nine thousand coins, silver, and same thing. With eighty-four T L B L B being pounds. Um, 14,000 gold, coins gold, Spanish doubloons, 25, 245 TLB, I'll just not say the TLB, T, oh, that's the last T one, the rest are just pounds, okay, statue, gold, horse, and rider, Mug, uh, 500 pounds, sculpture, bronze, elephant, 20 pounds, sculpture, bronze, elephant, 23 pounds, 100 spears, iron, Spanish, 400 pounds, 54 cutlasses, steel, Spanish, 162 pounds, 50 cannonballs, iron, Spanish, 1,200 pounds. 12 horses, 9,000 pounds, 4 barrels of wine, 2,400 pounds. <clears throat> You're right. That's a lot. Zilch. Think. Huh. He ain't getting up. Think about it this way, in for those who understand KGs, 136 KGs is around about 300 pounds. Wait. Ah. The fuck. I swear someone drew Sasuke's face to like that. Hey Nathan, over here. What do you got? The battalion money. It says Avery Sigil on it. Mm -hmm. it. Must have melted down like gold. Minted his own currency. So based on that, all the manifests on the shelves, the treasure was here. Yeah. Leaves the bigger question. Where is it now? Okay. So we know that there was fighting outside. Yeah, Dan inside. You think the colonists stole it? No. I think they were trying to reclaim what was theirs. Look, there's Avery, two founders of Libertalia, all marked with the word thief. Not murderer, not tyrant. Thief. So by the time the colonists busted in here, the treasure was already gone. Yeah, because these guys had already taken it for themselves. Pirates will be pirates, right? Uh, pirates will be pirates. Uh. <clears throat> huh. I know where they moved it. What? Where? Ah. It's a map. Yeah, right there. That's our treasury. It's, it's a map of Libertania. All right, so follow it to the other side of the island. Look, right there. New Devon. 
But Avery was from Devon, England. He sure was. Man, those are some seriously large mansions. Each of them has its own sigil, too. Because that's where they lived. <laughs> you say we uh, climb that watchtower, huh? Get our bearings. New Devon, here we come. Hmm. Oh. All right. Nathan, go check yes, this out. I know. Find a roll. Okay, ready? <laughs> Okay, that's step one. Step two. Raise the chandelier. Good idea. I'm surprised. Just take the compliment. Okay. All right. Well, now the place is looking classy. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, Condon. Baldridge. What? You're stepping on Baldridge. Oh, so I am. <laughs> Doesn't even know his pirates. But then again, neither do I. All right. Up we go. I'm really shocked the stairs are intact. Hey, hey, hey. Don't jinx us. Oops. Spoke too soon. Like I said. God damn you. Nathan, you seeing this tower? Sure am. Watch this. I just wanted to take a picture of that because it looked cool. Probably won't play this again, through again because, well... Uh, I don't know, it's not as enjoyable as 2, I must admit. That's what I was trying to do, but I was like, how the fuck do I go about doing that? Hey, Sam? Yeah? Alright, just making sure you haven't plummeted to your death. Just about there. <laughs> sure is excited. You're bad. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Ready? Ready. <laughs> All right. I found something. Stand back. Here you go. This floor is pretty sturdy. You know, I was expecting it to break. Oh, quite the crow's nest, huh? There it is. Just on the other side of the river. Now, what do you say we go? Rob from the rich, huh? Hey, is there a path down there? Uh, 
of sorts. Come on. So, how long you figure it'll take us to get the new Devon? Well, a couple hours. Depends on what or who we bump into along the way. Longer than I thought. Something tells me they've had enough of us. <clears throat> really? What gives you that idea? Down here, quick! Don't wait, just go! Nathan! Nathan! Get up, brother, we gotta go! We gotta go! Now! Try this again. I'm being yelled at. This is annoying. Oh, fuck sakes. You again? What I am knocking you. Okay, wait, wait. Hey, Nadine. Great to see you again. Okay, Mango. Mango. What are you on about? Oh, it's my safe word. Are oh, you always this clever? I have my moments. Yes. You and your brother have proven yourselves the more capable treasure hunters on the island. Shame we're not on the same side. Hey, there's, there's still time. Trust a drink. I'm not falling for that again. Hey, hey just, just let's talk. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit rougher than expected. I'll just uh, see myself out. After everything, you think I'm just going to let you walk away? That'd be the wise thing to do. Come on, Nadine, really? We know you're a badass and all, but there's two of us. I don't think my men are on their way here right now. 
All I have to do is buy some time. That's if I don't finish it myself. God damn it. Go! <laughs> oh god. She actually is such a bad Oh god. I'm tired of this island. I'm tired of your brother. And I'm tired of you. Oh, I know you don't. Get off. Why is she so good? We just talk about this. I don't think so. Forget about her. Come on, we gotta get out of here before they. Shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everybody just. just calm down, okay? Well, this is interesting. Nate? Samuel? Put your guns down! All of you! No. Rafe, this guy's on edge. Oh, don't worry about him, Nadine. These guys don't kill anyone in cold blood. It's just not their style. You wanted to bet her life on that? Go ahead, then. Shoot her. Sam. I die, you both die. Oh, so be it. Not another step! You mean... like this? Sam, put the gun down. I warned you. Do it! Rafe! It's done! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put it down. It's done. Okay? It's done. Don't worry, Nadine. It's not their style. I say, I didn't think he had it in him. <laughs> Samuel. <clears throat> you okay? I guess you knew this moment was coming, huh? Hey! <clears throat> Come on, man. You already got us. Take it easy. Come on now, you're a businessman. Let's just, let's work out a deal. Oh, a deal? Oh, yeah. Love to hear what you have in mind. <coughs> oh, you can go ahead. I'm listening. I just, I... you want to find Avery's treasure? We'll help you find it. And in exchange, I let you live. Yeah. That and a small cut. The gal shows on this guy. Just enough to get him his freedom, okay? His freedom? Nathan. Yeah. He did hard time. Our time. And the guy who broke him out, Hector Alcazar, he owes him a lot of money. Whoa. What the hell are you <clears throat> talking about, Nate? Hector Alcazar died in a shootout in Argentina like six months ago. I'm the one that got Samuel out. Oh. Wow. What did he tell you? Sam, what kind of story did you cook up? Alcazar? Really? You lied. You lied to your baby brother. We're wasting time. Just a second. Thing is, Nate, I never stopped looking for Avery's treasure. I just kept running into these dead ends. <laughs> and then I hear that our dear old Samuel Drake, an authority on Avery, is alive and somewhat well. There was no breakout. I bribed the prison warden, and your brother, he just waltzed right out the front gate. He spent the last two years tracking down a second St. Dismas Cross. You know what? He did it all with me. Oh, oh yeah? No, that's bullshit. Oh. Sam, care to refute? Nate. Oh, Sam. Jesus, no, no. Listen, 
Avery's treasure was ours. It was always ours. I left my light for you. <laughs> hey, look, look, Nate, if it's any consolation, he duped me too. He pulled a Houdini on me, he brought you and that old man back into the mix. And I cannot lie, Sam, that really pissed me off. But <clears throat> all behind us now. You don't deserve it. You do? Last I checked, we're all a bunch of thieves digging around where we shouldn't. Rafe? What? One way or another, end it. Or I will. Well, you heard the lady. Hey, you missed one clue, and you can kiss that treasure goodbye. You said it yourself. Keep running into dead ends. Why don't you face it, Rafe? You need us. No, you're right. <laughs> you're half right. I just need Sam. Wait, now you're making a mistake. Don't, you don't, don't listen. <laughs> what? Nate! Hey! Nate! What? <clears throat> there it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I don't know, no idea. But this is definitely the address. I've been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. Here we are. Whoa. This place is humongous. <laughs> Where do we even start? We start by finding a way in. And then we can take the grand tour. <laughs> hmm? You think this place has an alarm? Let's try and find a way in that doesn't involve breaking the window. Pretty sure the front door will be locked. I was trying to see if near the front door there'd be a way to like get up, you know? Alright, let's look around back, huh? Okay, after you. Hey Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh yeah. Here, follow me. Okay, give me your hand. <coughs> All right, there you go. brought a spare. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Hmm, nothing in here. Sleeping bag. A bottle of some sort and some bags yeah so. what about here nope similar things it's not gonna be in this attic the boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment 
Okay. Miss Evelyn, my name is Kenichiro Namba. I recently attended your lecture at the Adventurer's Lodge last week regarding your recent find. In the set of Tokugawa era armor you obtained off the coast of Okinawa. Your presentation was utterly fascinating. Though I was surprised by the condescending tone of the questions from the audience. I believe recognition and respect for one's work should not be contingent on race or gender. I imagine we have both struggled in that regard. Read right today because I have come into possession of what I believe to be French jousting armor, though I am not completely certain of the date nor the country of origin. If you have any time to spare, I would appreciate the insight of someone with your expertise. Apologies if this is too forward, but I will only be in this city for another month. In September, I traveled to Iceland to study a Viking burial site, and I would deeply regret missing the opportunity to speak with you further. I'm staying at the Lenox if you wish to contact me. I sincerely hope you do. Kindest regards. Kinichiro number. I nearly shot your head off. Lose him! Three shots, Janet! 